Hey everyone, this video is about two of my most loved fruits in the world, Kaimito or Kaimit and Blata. And both of these fruits are somewhat unknown, misunderstood, or underappreciated to a large degree and they both belong to the same family, Sapotaceae. Hence their similarities, and if that name kinda reminds you of Sapodilla, it's the most well-known member of that family. So Chrysophile and Kainito or the star apple is given that distinct name due to the arrangement of the seeds when viewed from the perspective of a lateral cross section. So I like to cut it that way and scoop it out with a spoon. If you eat it unripe, um, it's pretty astringent and it's almost inedible. When ripe, there's a latex type of residue that will stick to your lips and usually the way people deal with that is they rub a bit of oil on your lips but simply scooping out the flesh and eating it with a spoon does the trick, and the same is true of Blasa. It takes around 6 weeks for germination to occur, and here I'm showing you some of mine that are just starting to burst, and um, I've also got some cocoa. Cocoa seeds take about 5 days or so, uh, Kaimet, you're looking at over a month. There are two major varieties, a green which yields much more flesh and tends to be sweeter and a purple to reddish one which has a much tougher and leathery exterior. The leaves of the Kaimit are very unique and they appear to be nothing special on the top but once you flip it over you see this lovely satin type of reflective golden underbelly that just flashes in the sunlight whenever like a strong wind just ruffles all of the foliage. Now the other guy, uh, Balata, is even more obscure in the grand scheme of things and is even more sticky. But if you love the flavor of Sapodilla, think of Sapodilla without the gritty texture and even more smooth and milky and extremely sweet. It's a favorite of monkeys and personally I can't get enough so I don't know what that says about me. But again, a spoon works really good and it avoids the sap that kind of binds to your lips. So interestingly enough, Balata is more well known for its wood. It's known as bullet wood and the trees can live up to 400 years old and dominate fruit systems. The seedlings themselves are so unique, they live for years in a completely shaded understory just waiting for some type of disturbance like a fire or some type of felling uh, to exhibit rapid growth until it breaks out of that darkness and it just establishes dominance up in the canopy layer. Um, the scientific name is Manilkara bidentata, and um, the wood is very strong. It's resistant to fungi, uh, I believe wood borers, and termites, and I guess that's why it's called bullet wood. It's bulletproof. So if you think sweet, milky, and gelatinous sounds pretty delicious like I do, look out for these fruits in the months of late February to May, and uh, it's definitely good eats, so enjoy.